Hello, my name is Merle Rutledge for Virginia State Senate District 18. We need a very important piece of legislation and a person with a serious backbone to get the job done. We need an end to sovereign immunity, or at least to reevaluate it to the point that wrong is not covered up because you work for the government. Corruption has continued to thrive as more laws are passed to protect government officials and devise ways of immunity that was not meant for that purpose. Our founder, founding fathers would be ashamed at how the immunity has been used to cover up wrongdoing. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. would be ashamed of uh, injustice anywhere and there's no justice everywhere. The fact is, wrong must be righted, and we must start making people whole, regardless of whether we are in government uniform or just at home. We need to still recognize we are responsible for those in our care and those who believe in us to commit acts of service and dedication and commitment to make sure that the city thrives and those that live in the city knows that their city will back them when things go wrong. And I plan to make sure that happens. So I am going to introduce the Michael Nucket, which is based off the, the Virginia Beach man who was homeless and a trash truck ran over him. Sovereign immunity was used during that time frame to get the city of Virginia Beach off. Siobhan Grant was denied the claim when a trash truck plowed into her car and caused damage. And the city said sovereign immunity protects that ministerial act because they was performing their duties at the time frame in which property was harmed, serious injury may have been suffered, or including death. I know sometimes we don't think too much about it until it's either us or our families is impacted. And then we come to find out about certain laws that most people don't have a clue about. Most people don't know what sovereign immunity means. You find it out when that letter comes to you saying that we are denying any wrongdoing because we don't feel that we're liable even though we caused the problem. That's no longer going to happen, people. No longer. Not with me becoming your Virginia state senator. And I'm going to bring this argument to lawmakers and put them to the test that your immunity is more important than the ability to do what's right for people. So we're going to change that up. Every person working for the government needs to have liability insurance. Now, how their government pays for it or not, but you're not going to be excused. As you, the individual who know that you did wrong just because you're wearing a uniform, you are still going to be held accountable. Now, you may not suffer criminal charges, but you're going to make right. You are going to make right with the people harmed by your decisions or your negligence. Sovereign immunity can still be had by the government. But those responsible, that's the problem. Those responsible keep this blame game going. Oh, I got sovereign immunity. Oh, I got qualified immunity. All this other stuff. Yeah, I understand qualified immunity for those gray areas where both sides would not be able to determine whether a law was broken or not. I do believe in that for citizens as well. Especially when a law is so confusing that even police say that it's hard to even enforce. But staying right on track here, one thing we can make sure that happens. When you are working in your uniform, working on behalf of the government, just because the government says it is sovereign and mean, you on the other hand still liable for the consequences of your decision. If you drive a vehicle into a car, you still need to pay for those damages, whether the city is responsible for it or not. We can't keep doing people wrong 
and expect our citizens to know and determine what is right. We have to be the example. That's why they call us for leadership. This has been reckless policy for far too long. You get in the car, you hit another car as a private citizen, your insurance or your out-of-pocket has to make that person right. You shouldn't get that excuse because you was just driving a government vehicle and you decided that you wasn't paying attention or showing ordinary care or followed by the laws that every single Virginian, every single American has to go by. And when you cause an accident, you are supposed to be able to determine fault and you need to be able to make sure that people who are harmed by your fault are properly compensated. So much can happen, especially now. 33% of American households are worried about losing their home or in detriment of losing their home if they miss one paycheck. Imagine if you was in that car and you were seriously hurting. You got family to provide for. That depends on you being out there, especially now. And the government comes back, oh, you paralyzed. Oh, I'm sorry, your car's all messed up. I'm sorry about your family. You was harmed by their employees, but the government says, oh, we sovereign and immune. We don't have to cover none of that. And you're leaving your own people out there in the cold that is only in this position because a government vehicle hit them compared to a private citizen. A private driver compared to a government driver. We all have a duty as Americans, as Virginians, and this duty needs to be implied. And the best way to make sure people are held accountable is for us to make sure we hold our government to hold itself accountable for the wrongs that it do, regardless if you have sovereign immunity. You know right from wrong, just like you expect us to know right from wrong. We're supposed to respect the law, then respect exactly your common sense. That girl should have never been without a car. That family should still have a loved one, still being able to enjoy the beach. There's no excuse for sovereign immunity to be used in these situations, but there's no excuse to make sure they gotta live this harm out of pocket as long as they possibly can hold on during a time frame where this crisis is suffocating the life out of America and out of people's mental and physical capabilities. Because when your mind is broken, your body with us. We gotta do what's right. And the best way to do this Without changing government status on sovereign immunity, but holding those individuals in their capacity responsible and making sure that they have enough coverage. So when acts like this happen, when a government employee hits the car, yes, the government screams sovereign immunity all you want, but that person responsible for that wrong, insurers need to be held accountable. Just like police have fines and stuff like that, so if they get sued, they have a backup plan without having to lose everything that they worked hard for. And most of the time frame is normally on the state, but it can be even worse. Just based off the interpretation of the law that's much different than before. And now it's more confusing to determine right or wrong. Our civil rights is being violated in every single way today. And that's exactly why I bring to my district. We're not going to play this blame game no more. You're responsible for how the water is treated. You take on that responsibility. People harmed by what you do, you make sure those people is covered. You make sure you try to right that wrong. We need to start working that way. This isn't Burger King my way all day, every day. No, we're not having that no more. And we're not using Biden and Harris and any other rhino form of politics that says blame Trump, blame Biden, blame Harris, blame this. 
what responsibility do you take on but you don't mind saying that you can't handle it? But you're letting us know every single day you testify that you can't. Sometimes it's bigger than what I feel like or what others feel like. Sometimes it's bigger than just us in general because we have more important things to do than to see people wrong where it should have automatically been instinctive. Not just because you're the government. It's like the government don't understand people because once you're the government, you ain't people. You're the government. You can harm people. And you don't have to be held accountable. That day has to end. And somebody got to be willing to take the first steps because people have been taking five steps backwards as soon as they sworn in. They see the money more than they see the people. They see the political points more than they see the harm that comes from it. They won't explain the, the bad in their decisions. They'll say the good and hope that you don't read about it. That's why they want incompetence at government levels that only know what they want them to know and that's little to blame them for because you can easily say you should have known that by being in that position. No, you set that person up. Look mm -hmm. at Portsmouth. Look at Chesapeake. Look at how the government's ran. Look at how most of the governments is ran now. You don't even recognize those people. That's why they can't recognize the wrongs that they do to you because they don't look at you as people. They don't look at you with a broken arm. They don't look at you with a broken neck. They don't look at you in the casket with your body laid and stretched out. They only look at you for as long as you keep them in power. I'm going to keep looking at you as the people is the only reason why I'm here. The only reason why I'm fighting. The only interest group I have is for people that have peace and comfort and be guaranteed everything that America has to offer every single opportunity. And America's going to have your back. Virginia's going to have your back. My district is going to have your back because I'm not asking for this just for my district people. I'm asking for this for all Virginia, really for all of America. But I got to stay in my lane for now. But I can guarantee you a lot of people talking like me, thinking like me, because when it happens to you, what happened to Siobhan Grant and Michael Nucket and the many others who have suffered harm where sovereign immunity has been used as an excuse, and employees can go back to doing what they've been doing and know there's no wrong that the government can't fix. Well, this government, the one I plan to be a part of, we ain't gonna have the swamp, we ain't gonna have the corruption, we're gonna have the fix, we're gonna have the answers, and we're gonna have the solutions. Everybody is gonna be treated equally. There's gonna be common sense you screw up you're negligent, you're at fault, you're going to make it right to that person. Because that's a human being. You're a human being first before you join that government. Yes, I'm a Republican, but guess what? I'm not using my party as an excuse. That's Louise Lucas. That's Darren Scott. That's Bobby Scott. That's Mommy Locke. And it's any rhino that thinks doing people wrong is exactly the way to govern. That's why y'all have this plan game. And Merle Brothers is going to stand tall. He's going to ruffle some feathers. But I'm going to be doing it knowing my heart and soul is representing the American people and being the leadership that you cowards are afraid of. So to my district, to Virginia, there's a new Republican in this race. Not scared of Lucas, not scared of Blue Walls, not scared of his own establishment. The only person who I'm scared of or who I will ever fear is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died for me. And I'm willing to die for you.
God bless you, and God bless America. My name is Merle Brothers for Virginia State Senate District 18. Asking, pleading, and wanting all of your support.